is Ngoslati Ndovu, second year master's geology student at the University of Fort Hare in the Eastern Cape. This uh, short clip is to tell you about the Eastern Cape and why it is suitable why is it a suitable place to study earth system science? The Eastern Cape is blessed to have uh, the port of Nguka, which was opened by President Zuma over the past few years, which has become the backbone, more of like the backbone of the economy of the Eastern Cape. Also in the Eastern Cape, we've got uh, the Koega Industrial Development Zone and also the automotive sector, which together are the backbone and projected to carry South Africa further in the, in, in the economical world. The Eastern Cape is blessed with uh, so many things, just like the ocean, the Indian Ocean, which is more rugged and spectacular coastline. The Indian Ocean also helps us, as we know from the study of uh, Earth System Science and Heat, also regulates heat so that we receive warmth into, the, in, in, into, into our atmosphere, into our beaches. The climate is variable, very much variable in such that in, in a day you can have four different weathers. You talk about the sandy, uh, the sandy places, which is full of wind in the PE, up to the high mountains of the Drakensberg, the Hawksberg Mountains, where it is quite cold. But usually, Eastern Cape is a semi-arid place, suitable for uh, fruit farming and other kinds of farming. The geology, an interesting topic, because that's the area of my study. The Eastern Cape is uh, boosted with having the Cape Supergroup down in the Port Elizabeth area all the way uh, up to Port Alfred and the Great Karoo, which is of much interest to so many geologists because of the Doerite seals and dikes and also all the way to uh, Molteno and the Clarence Formation where we have the Drakensberg Mountains. It's quite an, a intensive study for those that are doing geology and it's quite interesting to know that there's just so much to, to figure out from the Eastern Cape. Biology branched into zoology and uh, botany. The Eastern Cape is a very good place. Why? Because um, we've got so much marine life. We've got uh, variance, variance flora habitats in the Eastern Cape and we've got dense bushes that stretch for distances. For example, uh, we have uh, a species of the whale, 27 species of whale, and um, uh, what do they call this? Um, marine, uh, marine life whale and uh, the dolphins in the Eastern Cape, which can usually come up closer to the beaches of the Eastern Cape, East London, and other places. There's also a lot of beds, abundance bed life, also in the Eastern Cape, which leads for people that are studying other uh, disciplines and then they come and have a lot of uh, information on this place. Culture. The Eastern Cape is a, a closer dominated area, but you've also got African people and uh, English speaking people. The Kosa um, constitute more of about 90% of the Eastern Cape people and the Kosas are also divided. Um, into smaller groups like uh, the 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 the, 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 the Bomvanas, the Mpondwanas, and uh, the Tembus. They are the Kosa speaking, speaking people of the Ngoni clan, and uh, most of them, as much as there's differences in their language, in their dialects, but they all speak under the Kosa. This is all I have for you. Thank you very much.